Are your vocals still sounding bad after adding pitch correction? Even advanced pitch correction plugins can't get every single pitch detail correct. If the original pitch of the audio recording is too far off, your pitch correction won't do a whole lot more than turn you into an off-key T-Pain. But never fear, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this problem so you can get your vocals sounding money. And the only thing you need to do it is a touch of hard work and Logic Pro 10. If you check both of those boxes, then it's time to hop into the computer and show you how. To fix our off-key vocals, we'll need to use what Logic Pro calls Flex Pitch. This will analyze the pitch of our recorded vocals and let us alter the notes. To turn on Flex Pitch, make sure you have one single take of an audio track, then click on the Flex Time button up at the top bar here. And then enable Flex Time for the audio track specifically. When you turn that on, you'll see a bunch of other options available for you to use, but in this case, we'll use Flex Pitch. After turning it on, Logic will go through and analyze the notes that were recorded during your vocal performance. After the processing is done, you'll see that the track has changed to reflect that with these kind of weird notes in it. To see these notes better, we can click E on our keyboard, or we can click up here to open up the editor window. Then we'll make sure that we're navigated to track so we can see all the notes, and bada bang, there you go. You'll see that each note has been recorded as what looks like a MIDI note. This faux MIDI note is an approximation of the pitch that Logic detected from your singing. This white squiggly line here is the actual pitch of your voice throughout the recording. But flex pitch doesn't always get this right. So you can either have Logic reanalyze your voice to see if things change, or more than likely, you'll have to go inside and manually edit some of the sounds so that your voice sounds as good as possible. Let's get into that. If we want to quickly adjust the pitch, we can go to the main arrangement window, zoom out a little bit, and you'll get all of these lines provided to adjust our notes. The lines above the middle are lines that are considered sharp, and the lines below the middle are notes that are considered flat. You can take this line and drag it towards the middle to get a perfectly in tune note according to the closest note that Logic detected you sang. Alternatively, you can double click on any of these lines to automatically move them to the closest note. To undo these steps, you can always click Command Z or you can right click on the region and click Reset All. For this method, keep in mind that if your original recording was far off from your preferred melody, then Logic will be moving these notes to the closest note, not necessarily the note that you want it to move it to. To change that, I much prefer using the editor view to fine tune the recorded voice that I mentioned earlier. Let's open that back up and dive in. Now the first thing that I'll do when using flex pitch is to set the key of the song to the correct place. If you're not sure how to do that, I made a great guide detailing three easy ways to instantly find your song's key right up here. For this song, I know I'm in F sharp minor. And now once we set the key of the song to the correct scale, I like to adjust my pitch correction amount to around 75. To select all, we'll click Command A so that we're affecting all of them. That will give some natural inconsistencies while pushing the voice more towards being perfectly tuned. You can mess around with this to taste. Let's give a quick listen to hear how it's sounding. I've been thinking about you too long. Every day since you left, you've gone. I'm trying to give you everything. I've taken all the processing off this so you can really focus on the original vocal recording. After setting the scale, I'll actually go through and listen to each individual vocal section and make sure each part is sounding good. I want to make sure that the voice is fitting nicely with the rest of the song. As I'm going through, if there's any specific part that sounds more than 80% of the way there off after doing these first couple steps, I'll go back through and re-record it until I'm satisfied with the results. Trust me, this will give you a much better end sound and it's going to save you a bunch of time going back through and re-recording it rather than trying to fix it with flex pitch. Flex pitch is great, but it won't be able to completely transform a bad recording. The same goes for poor rhythmic vocal takes. You can fix rhythm and flex pitch, but I highly, highly recommend getting it close in the recording stage and not touching the rhythm at all. If your voice is sounding pretty close, it's time to dive into flex pitch even more and fine tune our recording. Let's take a look at the options we have available with flex pitch by listening to this phrase. Here it is with no edits. But now I'm playing catch up in the wrong bed. Although Flex Pitch did a swell job of the initial analyzation, analyzation, it didn't quite get everything right. Let's fine tune this phrase by looking at each note of the recorded part. When we zoom into the individual notes, we'll see six dots that surround it. Each dot will allow you to change different aspects of the individual note. The top left dot and the top right dot allow you to change the pitch drift of the note. In other words, the pitch that the singer entered the note and the pitch that the singer entered the note at. The top middle dot is responsible for the fine pitch, which you can use to change the entire note at once. You can move this up in cents. Cents is one one hundredth of a semitone. The bottom left button will allow you to change the gain, which can be really great before going into compression. In this case, this note is a bit louder than the others, so I'm going to take it down so that it hits the compressor a little bit more evenly. As you move the gain, you'll be able to see the waveform change in the background. The bottom middle button is for vibrato. You can think of this as the waviness of the waveform. A completely 
slightly flat line here will give you more of an auto-tune type effect. And lastly, the bottom right dot will be responsible for the formant of the voice. A low formant results in a bit of a monstrous type voice, and a high formant results in a thinner sounding voice. Let me demonstrate what that sounds like really quick. Take all of these, go formant shift, and I'll shift them down. But now I'm playing catch up in the wrong bed. That's a low formant. Let's do this with a high formant. But now I'm playing catch up in the wrong bed. And that's a high formant. A good way to think about formant is the weight a voice carries. If you were to make a change more than a few notes, you might want to additionally change the formant so that it sounds more realistic. Formants are really, really cool, but they're a little out of the scope of this video. If you want to see a full video on vocal formants and their mind-boggling effects that you can make with them, leave in the comments below, we want formants. Let's listen to this vocal part and I'll adjust each note using the six areas to what I think sounds good. But now I'm playing catch up in the wrong bed. Cool, so now the vocals are pretty much there, but there is one more problem I wanna discuss that's happening with this particular part. And this happens with flex pitch quite a lot. This has to do with incorrectly placed notes. Sometimes you'll see audio trails like this on your performance where the voice white line goes pretty far out of the box. This can mean one of two things. One, you sang a different note than what Logic identified, or two, you were just really pitchy. If you did sing a different note, you can create that note into a separate note using the scissors tool right here. To use the scissors tool, I like to put it in my secondary tool slot, then holding command and clicking. I recommend going to where this note seems to start, clicking, and then dividing the two. Going through and editing any of these parts like that will give you way better results, but really use your ear to fine tune things. We can adjust this fine pitch here, and we can even go into the pitch correction of this individual note by clicking there. Now I'm playing catch up in the Sounds a bit sharp, so I'll take this fine pitch down. But now I'm playing catch up much better. Notice that when I cut this note, I didn't have the pitch correction set all the way. I wanted to adjust it even more. This peak right here is what I was looking at to make sure that it's getting right in the middle of this F sharp. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's pitch corrected like Logic wants, but it is the way that sounds the best. So like I said, use your ears. If you're struggling more with the second reason and your voice was too pitchy, maybe kind of like here, I'd recommend using those six dots that I talked about, specifically the vibrato dot and taking it down so that you can adjust it there. Maybe even using the pitch drift so that it sounds a little bit more on pitch. You can also join notes back together if you don't like those changes by clicking on the join tool here. Same thing, I'll select these two, click command, click together, and they're back together. I do really rarely use that join tool, but I thought I'd show you anyways. My default setting is using the scissors and that's what I'd recommend for you. All right, and then after all of that hard work, you can rinse and repeat this process for every single phrase until it sounds great. For some genres, you might wanna throw a pitch correction plugin after you do this on your vocals, which will give you more of that tuned effect. This can be really great for some types of music. And if you do use flex pitch beforehand and it's already sounding good, then your pitch correction is gonna flow like butter. Take a look at what I mean. Now I'm playing catch up in the wrong bed. You can hear that it's tuned, but it's flowing way better than it would have been otherwise. And there's a great overview of flex pitch so you can start using it on your songs and vocals. It is an extremely powerful tool that I find myself using a lot. And if you follow these steps, your vocals are gonna melt over your eardrums like a hot body massage. And if you like this video on fixing pitchy vocals, then you'll love this video I made on how to make a stock vocal preset change to sound like The weekend. Go check it out.